Hi, this is Michelle. How are you doing today? It's good to be with you guys again on Sunday. Is anybody out there? We're going to go live. This is my second Periscope from Miami. Thanks, Miami, for joining us. I've learned so far with Periscoping that it is really tough to try to use the video and try to get close up. So and to sew and to cut and everything so I've tried to keep everything contained within this little area and I'm just going to move the camera around we're going to kind of wait a few minutes for everybody to join us hey Sally thanks for joining us guys today we're going to be making a zippered spiral notebook cover have you guys all downloaded my pattern from Craftsy hi how you doing Sally so if you have, who's going to sew along with me today? Anybody? Give me some hearts if you're going to sew along with me. Nick? Yay! Okay, good deal. So I'm going to try to go slow. It's not a hard pattern. It's really for beginners, but there are a few steps that, that might be a little confusing to some, so we'll go slow. And if you have any questions, just be sure and, and tap on your phone. For those of you that are new to Periscope, so this is what I see from Periscope. Okay, so if you like something, just tap on it and give me some hearts and that'll tell me that you like it. If you need to tell me that um, you need me to repeat something, just type it in. All right, sounds good. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut. And I'm going to try to move the screen to where you guys can see. And if you can't, please tell me about it. I got a camera stand this week trying to figure all this out. Okay, you guys still with me? Am I still live? I don't know how to turn off my phone just yet and keep the Wi-Fi going. So we'll have to figure that out as we go along. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with the main piece of fabric, which is, I believe, the 11 and a half by 17 and a fourth. From that piece of fabric, on the right end, we're going to cut a piece just straight down the middle, five and three fourths. And I already did that. Okay, let's keep it put together. That way we can, no sound. Can you hear me now? Can somebody tell me that can they hear me now? Sally, can you hear me now? Hey guys, can you hear me now? I'm talking. Can anybody hear me? Yes, wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and begin. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, so we've cut our piece. Thank you. Okay, so we've cut our piece just five and three fourths, and the. Thank you, ma'am. So what I like to do is use Wonder Tape. Have any of you guys ever used Wonder Tape? I believe it's a Dritz product. There are several different products like that out here, but this is the one that I like to use. Yes, very good. Sally's used it. Yes, she knows all about this. So I like to use it to hold the um, zipper in place. The zipper is not hard at all on this. Um, it's just a matter of, of trying to keep it in place while you stitch it on, and you don't even need a zipper foot for this. Okay, so what I like to do first is begin, well, I should have had this done already. Let's see. You're not hearing it still? It's got to be something on your end, Gail, because I think you can still hear it. Can anybody else hear it? I think the video is going live. I think it's just got to be on your end, maybe. Okay. So hang with me, girls. All right. So we'll get this going. Thank you very much. I'm glad you can hear me. Gail, I think it's on your end. Okay. 
Okay, so I like to take the wind tape and I'm going to align it right here on the edge. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Let's just forget that. I'm one step ahead of myself. Okay, so set this aside for now. Let's get the zipper out, okay? We know that um, our piece, that the length in this is 11 and a half inches, so we need a zipper that's gonna be at least 11 and a half inches. So let's take this Wonder Tape. And let's put it, let's see, can you see if I do that? Pretty good? Let's put it on the edge of the zipper. So I'm going to just put a piece of Wonder Tape on both sides of the zipper, just on the edge. I don't want to put it too close to the teeth. Now you can tell the zipper that I'm using is a lot bigger than 14 inches like the pattern calls for, but that's okay. You can use as least as, as least as it's, if it's as big as at least that size, then we're good. We can always cut down, we can't add to. So I want this to be at least 12 inches and I think we're good with that just using my ruler. I'm going to do exactly the same thing to the other side. It's, you guys are sewing along with me. It's going to take a little bit longer to get through this, but if you'll be patient, if you have to log out of Periscope for some reason, you can catch this on YouTube. I will upload it. And it won't be sideways this week. My husband figured out what I was doing wrong. I'm not a camera guru for sure. But we'll learn about this stuff together. Okay, so this is what I've done. Can you see that? In, okay. So now we want to take and we want to peel back the paper to expose the sticky. Sometimes it's hard to get this going. And it's even harder when you're on the camera to get it going. Come on. There we go. But it really is worth the hassle, I promise. I think I'm going to be like Eleanor Burns and just throw everything behind me and clean later. <laughs> So we're going to take one piece, now this is what we cut, and we know we did because it will just go together, now see that's not it, so look at there. This is what we cut right there, nope that's not it either is it? How about that, does that look better, no? Alright flip it around so we know exactly that it's the two ends that you cut in the middle and that's it right there. Okay, so we want to take this piece and we want to line it up on the zipper and that'll just hold it in place and then to make sure that I'm doing it right yep that's it and I'm gonna line it up exactly with the other side so the pieces look like they should be matched together just with a zipper between. Okay, and then I'm just going to go over to the machine. Let's see if you guys with me. See if you can see that way. And I'm just going to stitch it down. Now it doesn't even have to be stitched good. Because no one's going to see this. We're going to cover it up. basting it onto the zipper. Let's... Now let's do 
the other side. You can see I'm not even using a zipper fit. I'm actually using a stitch in the ditch fit right now. And that's only because one of the other steps that we're going to be doing soon calls for it. So I just kept this on. You're just basting it onto the zipper, just trying to hold it in place. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back and use the wonder tape again. Can you see that? Good deal. So we're going to use the wonder tape yet one more time. And this is going to hold the rick rack in place. We're just going to line it up. Let's see. Line it up on the edge of the fabric right next to the zipper. Now you don't want to get too close to the zipper because you've got to be able to zip and unzip it and we're going to add, also add some fabric there. This is my very first pattern that I had out. It was a tutorial that I wrote and I taught at Martha Pullen many years ago. If any of you guys ever been to Martha Pullen's show? It's a blast from the past, isn't it? The show's not around anymore. They used to come to Arlington and me and all my sewing friends would love to go to that. And I dreamed of being able to teach there. And I got to do that and that was beautiful. Good day. Thank you very much. Um, it was a lot of fun to be able to do that. So this is the very first pattern that I did. And then a lady from Pellon saw me and asked me to write this for the Pellon website. And so I did. So that's where you can get it or either you can get it on Craftsy too. But you'll notice that it's written with Pellon's logo on it. So this is a Rick Rack that I'm using. Now the Rick Rack that I like to use is a jumbo Rick Rack. This does not look jumbo to me, but that's what Wrights calls it. So that's what I use. It's the perfect size. I think it's more of a, a medium rick rack. It's, I believe, 5 eighths of an inch. But what I like to do is I like to line it up using the wonder tape to hold it in place. Line it up on the edge. Isn't this cherry fabric cute? I love red and teal. It's Michael Miller fabric. Okay, there's one side, and we're going to do the other side. It's bright and cheery. I made a diaper cake, and I need to make me a video. My idea on video. Yes, everybody loves videos, right? I've never made a diaper cake before. Well, that's obviously not big enough. Did I just cut that? That was silly, wasn't it? How about that one? That one looks a little better. You guys are seeing it live. My blonde is showing through. That's okay if it's a little longer because we're going to trim that off at the end. Okay, so now you can see that part. Okay, so then we're going to take and these one and three fourths by 11 and a half inch strips. So the tutorial tells you to take and fold it in half and press it. That's what I've done here. And then it tells you to fold it in to the middle on both sides, press it and then fold it again. Okay, and you're going to get something that looks just like this. And it tells you to do that with two of the four strips. And the other two, one and three four inch strips, you're going to fold in half and press. And we're going to set those to the side for now. So we're going to take the ones that look like this, the little skinny ones, and we're going to apply them here. I like to use the edge that's um, 
doesn't have the opening, the folded edge. And I'm going to stick it on right here. And the Wonder Tape's usually really good about holding it in place. And I say usually because I'm sure with the camera on it won't hold it in place for me, but we're gonna try. No, it's doing pretty good. No, there it goes. Okay, naturally. It's usually pretty good about holding it on. Let's see if we can do it again. I'll stick a little harder this time, press it. All we need is just enough to make it to the sewing machine. Okay, so let's go to the sewing machine. Let's just sew one side at a time. I'm gonna move it so you can get a bird's eye view. That better with more light. Okay, we're just going to stitch right along the folded edge, and this is just going to conceal our raw edges. Now, again, you notice I'm not putting a zipper foot on. We don't have to use a zipper foot. I am actually using a stitch in the ditch foot, and I. I'm going to increase my stitch length just a little bit. I like a little longer stitch length on the top. And let's go here. We're just top stitching it in place. Nope, I didn't. We'll go back over it and do it again. I'm going to move my needle over just a little bit. It's hard to see. I'm sitting down so far, so low, that I can't see. I'm stitching blind, pretty much. Okay, so I caught that good on that side now. I'm just going to twist it around, and I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to try to get closer so you can see what I'm doing. Some of this is not folded over real good. Let's see if we can use... Do any of you use an awl to sew with? Love to sew with one of these. matching thread or if you don't have it use invisible thread I use that a lot too if I don't have the right color if I think that my seams are going to show and that my top stitching is not going to be perfect then hide it by using invisible thread let's see how I did see if I caught it this time I think I did looks okay I'm going to trim that little ditty right there though Okay, so let's stick the other one on, and I'm going to try to do that close-up for you here so you can see. We're going to do the same thing. Let's try it from this side. Maybe it'd be easier for you to see. See it okay? See if 
anybody have any questions so far? out we don't want that so just kind of push that back what am I making I'm making a spiral notebook cover it's a zippered spiral notebook it's gonna have a pocket in here so we're gonna have a zipper so we can get in and out of the pocket this pattern is a free tutorial on craftsy it's one of my first patterns I think it's the only pattern I have on craftsy as a matter of fact it's under So Michelle on Crafts. You can download the pattern there. It's super easy to make. All the instructions have pictures. And if you ever have any questions, you can feel free to email me. What is the site? It's Craftsy, but it's under So Michelle. This is not on my website right now. I probably will load it, but it's on Pellon's website, Pellon's Projects website, and it's also on Craftsy as a free tutorial. And I sell all of my patterns under SewMichelle.com. Okay, can you see that? Yay, it's looking pretty. Okay, so let's set this aside just for now. I'm going to move back over here. Let's see, I'll try to keep you where you can see. If you can't see, be sure to let me know. Okay, so we're going to set this aside. Okay, we can still zip it up and down, so we did good. You might just double check that. And if you have any trouble, just take it out and do it again. It's real forgiving. We'll set it to the side for now. And now let's do, we did the zipper. The